Big topic of the day. <laughs> yes. Kingdom Hearts 3. Yeah. Have you heard of this, you heard of this game? <laughs> um, I don't know. Uh, you know, oh, I, 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 have no, I, have, I, I have no idea. I have no idea. Oh, yeah? <laughs> nice. I should have hung up. I should have hung up my flag right there. <laughs> Oh, they gave you the flag. I didn't get a flag because I ordered it online. I ordered it online from GameStop and I got my flag. So they sent you one in the mail? Yeah, it, it came in the box. I wonder. So actually, now I'm thinking about it. So I, like a dumbass, but I guess it doesn't matter since they, so I ordered a PlayStation Pro console, the one that they ended up canceling a whole bunch of orders for on last Friday. So I spent all weekend just panicked that I wasn't going to get mine. And then it shipped out on Monday. But what I ordered was the, the uh, I thought this was a dumb decision at the time, but maybe this is what saved me. I ordered the version that's the Pro, the Story So Far collection, which I don't need because I already have versions of all the other collections, and also the Funko Pops <laughs> that came with it. And uh, the Pro arrived in the, and Story So Far arrived yesterday. The Funko Pops were supposed to arrive today, but since the whole United States is experiencing weird weather, winter conditions right now. They delayed it until tomorrow. So hopefully my flag is in that box and I'm not thinking about it. So we'll right. see. And if not, maybe I'll try to go to GameStop over the weekend and see if they have any left. Um, and then I'll hang mine up in the background too. I have, I have room over there. <laughs> yes. But yes, I have three copies of the game now and I think I might end up just keeping all three of them because... They're all like a little bit different. I sent you a picture of it, but basically like I got impatient on Monday when Best Buy announced that you could go to stores at 9 p.m. and buy it. Um, I went and I bought a copy of the standard edition. And then my dad had bought me a copy of the deluxe edition, which arrived yesterday. And then I bought myself the PS4 Pro version that also came with a copy of the game. <laughs> but the, uh, the deluxe edition and the Pro version both have like those not for resale things on the back of them. So it's not even like, you know, I could have, Oh, I could just return one of them to Best Buy and get my money back. Like, Nope, no, I have to sell them online or just keep three different copies of the game. And uh, I'm leaning towards just keeping them right now, but we'll see what happens. <laughs> Dumb as I might say. Right. Just cause I like the fact that the story kind of happens. Um, but yeah, let's talk about the actual game. Now you're almost done. Um, I am eight hours into the game. Fourth world. Uh, at this point, I think we should just say we're going to do spoilers up to where I'm at, at least. I would prefer if you didn't spoil anything else for me, anyway. Uh, but... dude, I, I literally, <laughs> I will not because you need to see it. Like, I've been freaking out all day. I know. I've been, I've been sending you texts all day. Uh, yesterday, same thing. I'm like, dude, you need to catch up. You need, you need to keep playing. I'm not kidding when I say this is, like, amazing. And every time I'm just, like, imagining, like, what is it? What is it this time? Um, dude it's you can't even guess it's so it's so much uh, yeah i know i can't even guess so <laughs> well and the reason why i know i won't even be able to guess is because even up to the fourth world so far like i've been surprised and impressed with pretty much every single decision that square enix has made with this game and yes. which i did not expect like i'm i'm more more surprised than i'm surprised i guess um because like I was sort of bagging on the game, like you know, oh, for starters, you know, anybody who hasn't played them is going to be so lost. What are they going to do? But they've actually done, I think, a really good job of giving you the opportunity to learn that background lore. But then they Memory also archives, yeah, and but then also the first two worlds sort of reiterate really like what's important. What are we doing right now? Yeah, before you're even done with the first world. Uh, or it might it might be even before you start, it goes over two point nine shows yeah. you it shows yeah. you exactly right like where it's leading up to which is super cool yeah um, and then they've also done a really great job of to like to the point that I wonder if somebody on their development team was like reading people's theories and stuff online and everybody's debates about the game because they've like anticipated a lot of fan questions and have been like answering them early on, you know, so maybe it's like right after you beat Twilight Town, I forget exactly, but there's the whole cutscene where he was like, now, wait a minute. If, 
if uh, Xemnas and Ansem were made because of Terranort, Xehanort possessing Terra, then why is Master Xehanort old again? Which is like the number one thing people ask when they're talking about like, well, the end of Vindrak doesn't, doesn't make any sense. Why is Master Xehanort back? So the fact that they're just like, oh, no, no, we know this is a question. The characters in this world are curious about it too. Is like, okay, like at that, like at that point, if there were any doubts in my mind that like I wasn't in good hands, they like, they disappeared. I was just like, okay, yeah. they actually do know what they're doing. You know, the whole joke that like it's a convoluted mess is maybe not giving them credit because they are taking care of those questions, you know? Even even from the very beginning, they're answering those questions. Yes. So. So, obviously we already put the disclaimer of spoilers up to the point where you are. Right. Um, let, let's talk about the, well, first let's talk about how, what one of my favorite things that in the very first world with mm -hmm. Hercules, they actually followed the story of the movie this time, mm -hmm. which is super cool. Like I've been mm -hmm. waiting for them to do that. And, and they gave a good reason within the world on why. Hades yeah. is like, nah, screw that. I don't need your heartless. I'm going to stick to my original plan. And yeah. then, he, you know, it follows the story of the movie, which is super cool. Yeah. Especially cause like, um, cause I had just played that level in kingdom hearts two, you know, like a week or two ago. And they kind of like, allude to a little bit of the movie story you know right like meg's in it that kind of stuff but and then it ends with a little bit of the whole you know sacrificing yourself thing that he does at the end of the movie mm -hmm. but yeah but it's but it's neat that they're just like we're gonna go the whole way this time we're gonna bring all the titans in we're gonna do the whole thing with the titans like capturing zeus tate and hercules is gonna come and save the day so yeah i thought that was a nice touch for sure yes um you had some you had some interesting thoughts on toy box didn't you <laughs> toy box is too much <laughs> it's just it's overwhelming right it is overwhelming like, but but it's very it's one of my favorite worlds in the whole game um so basically like i had the thought like oh my god this is just too much for me when like very early in that level too when when you first get into the toy store and it's gigantic you go into the not a gumball machine, but you know, like the gotcha the machine. Surprise thing. Yeah. And they're like, whoa, there's three different paths we can go to. And like they're labeled so you can see which one is floor number two. The, the game tells you to go to floor number two. But I'm like, okay, where do the other ones go though? <laughs> so like I ride one up and it just is a whole new floor that you can just explore. And I'm, I was just like, okay, like I'm not going to do this right now. <laughs> this is crazy. <laughs> I'm just going to get this whole extra space to run around it and then the funny thing is that like you end up like the story ends up taking you up there anyway you mm -hmm. know except for the actual like um the dolls green room. one you know you can't get into the dolls room if you go right up to that floor uh, you can't get into the dolls room yet yeah uh, you could explore like part of the outdoor kids area and, and that whole floor did you go up the, the green room? i went up the green one too and there's you know and you got the treasure chest, treasure chest with up the, there, yeah the the mini game yeah yeah, I didn't play that minigame yet, but yeah, I got that one. I haven't played any of the minigames um, at the end of the game. Uh, I played the first minigame so far, um, and was kind of like, I was kind of underwhelmed, actually. But um, hopefully they get better, because <laughs> I like a lot of the other minigames in this game. But yeah, but Toy Box, is, but that was sort of overwhelming, and then I went back down and did the actual story stuff, and was just sort of, like I'm... I think Toy Box is, is probably the best example of this so far in the early part of the game because of the fact that in a previous Kingdom Hearts game, you would be in the toy store, but each of those areas would be like their own area. You know, there'd be a loading screen between each of them. Whereas in this game, it's just the whole toy store is open, you know, except for the, uh, there's a loading screen vents. to go through the vents. Yep. You know, other than that, the whole the whole thing, you can just roam around wherever you want, you know. So on, on the one hand, it's just like okay, it's one location, but also like I said, it's it's incredibly overwhelming because it's such a huge location, you know, yeah. you can just go around and you can do so much in it, you know. Like I got to the point where I started just grabbing mechs just to move around, even because 
they have the dash <laughs> that's so much faster and i was like yes. i'm not gonna i'm just gonna walk around this whole this whole store looking for treasure you know let me you didn't you didn't have to walk you could air step you could do that too yeah 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 um i realized that um on the second floor and not the, second, the top floor yes um, but then but again like once you're like when you're in the outer areas but if you're trying to move you know just like on the inside even like in each individual store right quote unquote, or department or whatever you want to call it but the the other thing about about the toy store and i texted you this just well there's a couple things actually i think that the toy store might again sort of wrap up why i'm having such a fun time with the game is because they're just going for it you know so there's the whole bit with the weird doll that is a boss <laughs> which is so strange so creepy super creepy and just comes out of nowhere yes you know? like i saw that there was like dolls in that room but like it never occurred to me oh we're gonna have to fight a doll and it's gonna be really creepy and it's gonna float around like a possessed horror anime child <laughs> and then so that was fun on its own just weird creepy doll stuff but then you go into the video game section and there's final fantasy toys on the one wall and then there's the posters for the what is it called verum rex game which yes. on the bottom says that it's published by square enix and sora's like whoa why do i look like that guy is that guy me like what happened why do i look like that guy and it's fantastic <laughs> i guess like like i said before like with the with the whole riku scene and the, him asking the same questions that the fans were wondering you know it's like they have a little bit of self-awareness this time and not self-awareness in the sense that they're making jokes about it you know self-awareness in the fact that it's just like we know what this is we know what we're doing our objective is to have fun with it you know right because like because if you think about it it's like it doesn't make sense for there to be final fantasy toys you know if final fantasy characters are real in this universe you know but at the but same time not... it also sort of doesn't matter you know like it's it's still just fun well, here's my thought. Like, none of the Final Fantasy... Well, actually, that that's kind of false because Cloud is in Olympus Coliseum. But I was going to say, like, Final He's Fantasy... He's been the only Toy Story. Final Fantasy characters reference so far. <laughs> you know? Yeah. At least to the point that I'm at. I, was just, I, I noticed that I was just, like, in the intro to, to Olympus, they reference Cloud and Orin. And no yeah. other Final Fantasy characters have been named up to the fourth world. I'm like, hmm. But anyway, but that's not a oh, uh, I won't. I won't comment on anything. <laughs> I mean, I know that's like the game, so I'm, I'm I'm assuming that they show up one way or the other later. But, um, but yeah, you. Were, I think you were trying to make a different point, so I didn't. I didn't actually mean to interrupt you. Um, I don't remember about the toy box. Just how you were, saying, you were saying that, like, well, you know, like clouds in the universe. Oh, I was going to say in in the Toy Story world, the Final Fantasy characters don't exist. So to them you know to the other toys it makes sense and to andy who which we don't see in in the game but you know that's like a game that would be a game that right. andy would be able to play like as a right. kid well so, there's also and also if you go to the, the outside of andy's house his, he has a mailbox and it says u.s postal service on the box um yeah which is kind of funny but well, no, that, that sort of like is a weird like lore question because the whole sort of meta thing about the Kingdom Hearts universe is that all the worlds are supposedly supposed to have originally just been a single world, you know? So that's, that's why right. I'm kind of like, oh, well, you know, how do toys make sense in this world? You know, talking toys make sense in this world and also Final Fantasy characters are toys, you know? And like, the, I guess, like that stuff is not actually like important to me. I don't need that to make sense, you know, for me to enjoy it. I just thought it was kind of funny. That they're just like we're gonna right. throw fancy characters into the shelf in the toy section, and I would yes. totally play the fake Final Fantasy Versus Thirteen Mirror Rex game <laughs> if they actually made one because it's kind of hilariously cool. It's actually really fun. Um, so yeah, so that's Toy Story World. Uh, overall impressions of the game. Um, I like that there's just there's so much of it <laughs> they're they really just stuck in like the, in terms of the battle system pretty much anything that's ever shown up in a kingdom hearts battle system is in this game you got you have flow motion you have form changes 
you have summons yep. focus you yeah have focus. shot lock yeah shot lock yeah um it's like all in there <laughs> um, uh, the attractions are interesting um they're really cool and super helpful yeah and i think i like that they mix it up and that they're all different too you know um even though the um blaster one is objectively the best um it's the only one that's like lame is splash ride like the water one where you just like yeah it's kind of just water too it sucks it's not yeah, well, you kind of you kind of have like the way that i did it anyway i got it to work really well for me in toy toy store actually when i had a whole bunch of the mechs like surrounding me and i didn't have a mech that i could get into and then the splash thing came out for me and what i did was i like bounced it all around and kind of like locked them into it so then when you do the finisher and you just like ride the wave all around in a circle, then I'll yeah. do them a whole bunch. Uh, but it's kind of a very specific use, I think, for, for that to work right. Um, but it, but the, the cool thing to me about Kingdom Hearts battle systems in general is the fact that they're, they're all kind of just options, you know? Yes. Like if you, if you hate the summons, if you hate the attractions, you never really have to use them. You can get by without them, you know? Let's let's talk about this. Did you notice within your abilities that there is an option to turn off XP gain? Yes. Is is that going to be like a challenge that we see on on YouTube? Like people going trying to beat the whole game so, at level one? Um, I do think that that is a trophy in the game. I'm pretty sure it was a trophy for one and two on the final mix versions. So yeah, I do know because I did not. I didn't really get into the trophies for for two. Uh, I do know that in Kingdom Hearts one, there's a trophy for. Uh, I'm pretty sure there's level one one, but there's also one for never changing your equipment. So like just the default equipment you start with, Kingdom Key everything, and never changing that. And there's also one for which I can't imagine you being able to get all these in the same playthrough, because there's also one for never using a continue, um, which can get pretty dicey towards the end of the game, especially if you're playing without experience points. You know, So I got that, I got that trophy doing um, Kingdom Hearts 1, and I'm trying to get it again. I'm assuming there's one this time. I haven't looked at the trophy list this time, because I don't want to spoil anything for me, potentially. But I'm assuming there's one. So short answer, yes. That is a challenge. Gotcha. And, I can't. I, I don't know. Maybe I'll. Maybe I'll be brave enough <laughs> someday. No way. No way. No. Maybe on easy mode. <laughs> yeah, it's, a, it's another thing. But... So, so uh, I'm playing on proud mode. You've been playing on standard mode. So you're almost done the Which, game. Last time I checked, I'm, I'm, reg- I'm regretting because now I'm like, wow, I really, I really want that like hidden cutscene that's bound to be there, and I'm like, right. shit, I'm already, I'm already 26 hours in. Like, I'm gonna have to do this again. Yeah, well, or, or just, you know, 100% the game, whatever the... Because there's, you know, you probably look up what, the, what are the unlock guidelines on standard mode, you know what I mean? It's going to be like find all the lucky emblems, which is so hard. Oh. It's so hard. Yeah. I'm sure that'll be, yeah, that's probably... That's, that's probably, probably one of the requirements. Because I'm also at a yeah, point in the one. game where I'm thinking to myself, I'm like, there's probably still, and and if there is, like, um, I, don't, I probably don't have to keep telling you not to tell me things. But I'm at a point in the game where I'm just like, there's probably still even stuff that I don't know about that I'm going to, you know, have to unlock or treasures and things like that. I haven't, I haven't, I'm assuming there's some kind of like secret report in the game. I have not encountered yet at my point in the game, but every other Kingdom Hearts game has some version of a secret report, you know, and I've not found any yet. So we'll see. Um, but yeah, I'm playing on proud mode, so I'll let you know what the secret movie's like. Or you probably just replay the whole game again before I get to finish it because I don't have any probably. Yes, you do. <laughs> probably. Have you died at all yet? I have not. Not in combat. I've I've died once, and that was in the gummy ship. Do you do you shop at all? Do you use the shop? Do you buy potions? Uh, oh yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. Have you so uh, to in standard mode? Do the Moogles sell? I think they're called Koopo coins. Yes. Yes. Have you used any of those at all? No, I bought one. You bought still one. on the first one that I bought. The first one. That's funny. I I bought one and uh, ended up using it. And so that thing I described before, where I was like, surrounded by mechs in the toy store, 
uh, ended up using it in that scene like without really realizing it because I had like half health <laughs> and something just like one of the mechs just punched me and killed me and I was just like what the hell but but it just instantly brings you back to life so I was like yeah. all right I guess it was good that I had that because I wasn't expecting that <laughs> yes um, especially because I want to go for the no continue so I just would have had to reload um but yeah I mean I'm not really having too much trouble yet either besides that one sort of random moment but the way that proud mode tends to work because I've played most of the games in proud mode at this point is that like there's a pretty sharp difficulty hill that just comes up at the end of the game where there's suddenly just like all right now the game's actually going to be difficult you know so we'll see how that works for me I know you want to tell me so much, but <laughs> just finish the damn game. I need to, we need to talk like hey sap. There's okay. so much crap that happens, dude. It's gonna take it's me so much. Two weeks probably still before I'll be able to play it. But I can't last that long without talking to someone about it. Dude. This sucks. Find someone else. Uh, well, you'll be able to go to you know forums and things, and you'll be able to be free on the internet. I haven't I haven't stay off the internet like to the point where I even I was telling a friend today about the Verum Rex game. And I was like, and they don't play Kingdom Hearts at all. I was like, hey, this is a really funny, cool thing that they did. And I told them, I was like, you know, I'm sure the video of it is online somewhere, but I am not going to Google that to send it to you because I'm just afraid of even punching the words Kingdom Hearts into an internet yep. now and seeing what's yep. going to come back. You know? Yeah. I haven't, I haven't even gone on Google or anything other than looking at the Metro thing right now. So. Well, and you're almost done, so you'll be able to you will be a free elf pretty soon. Um, okay, so let's. I think we sh we can probably like wrap this up for now. Uh, any closing thoughts on? Just try to try to imagine for your for a second like what the beginning of the game felt like for you and, and what you. you know, it's your, been incredible the whole what, way. What the whole way through. The, <laughs> the whole way through, dude. I've been on the edge of my seat the yeah. whole time, and just having the conversation with you earlier where you were like. It's it's crazy for me right now, you, and I'm like, so I can only imagine what you're you know seeing. I'm like, you have no idea. It just right. keeps. It's a gradual uphill of just kick assness and awesome right. storytelling, like plot twists and and just so, so much explained. And I'm just like, I can't handle it all. Right. That's good. That's to me that the, the thing that's most exciting about that is the fact that hit kind of delivers on what I was saying earlier, the fact that I was impressed up front that they were willing to address those things, you know, and they're saying, hey, basically, we know what you're wondering, we're going to get to that, you know, like the third scene in the game is one of the being like, yo, where's that black box? You know, and then at the end of that level, she's like, oh, we, I think the Book of Prophecies is in the black box, you know, so the fact that they're like, talking about those things, and then you saying like, oh, the story just gets crazier and crazier and keeps going. Like that's it's reassuring to me because they continue to do what they're, you know, what they. Promise. They're 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 pretty secretive about it in some cutscenes too. Like they'll they'll like have characters whisper to each other so that the the player can't hear it, and then they'll explain it like two cutscenes later. And I'm like, oh my god, I knew it. <laughs> it's, it's crazy. That's funny. There's there's definitely one specific thing that I want to talk to you about because we had we had talked theories before and sort of get an answer in one of the cutscenes. And I'm not gonna tell you when or what, but we we were talking about something about it and I, I just really want to hear your thoughts on it. Okay. <laughs> It it was mind blowing. I was like, "Holy shit, this is so cool!" Okay, okay, I'll get there. I'll get there. <laughs> I won't say. Anything. Gonna, I can't say anything. I, I want to get back to playing. Right. Okay. Then we'll, we'll wrap this up then, because I'll just say <laughs> my thing is that like uh, I'm kind of at a point like what I said before was that right now they're just like teeing up a bunch of stuff, you know. So like, like I said, I'm being reassured that the, that the questions are going to be answered. You know, and they're introducing they start teeing things. off. Like I'm really start. like I almost don't even want to say this, especially on camera, because your your reaction is going to give something to it. But but they're even doing interesting things, like in the in their interactions between some of the characters that are like making me wonder about like extra stuff. You know, like um, like Zigbar shows up in Olympus Coliseum, 
um, I guess just Olympus, and he's in Thebes. And there's the part where he like starts to say like, you know, the the may your heart be your guiding key line, and then just like it cuts out, um, and then cuts to like another cutscene. And then there's the part where he like shows up in Twilight Town and approaches like Xemnas and Ansem, and he kind of like yells at them. And I'm just like, why is isn't aren't they supposed to be like above him? Like why is he like yelling at them as if he's their boss? Like what is going on with these, you know, character relationships now? You know, so. That's what I'm. In, that's where I'm at right now. That's what I'm interested in. I'm excited to see where it keeps going. <laughs> Keep it to yourself. I'm going to. There's. I. I don't. I can't remember that. Well, actually, I do remember that specific cutscene. But there's just, the character relationships in this game are insane. Like yeah. I. That's all. Good. It's. It's nuts. Good. Good. Okay. All right. So let's let's just uh, wrap that one up there for now because <laughs> I don't know. I have no idea how long we've been going, but. Um, I think we've covered everything that we need to cover at this point. Um, hopefully in a week from now, you're going to be done and on your second playthrough of this game. And I'll hopefully be, I'll probably be at, I don't know, not where you're at, but closer. So, <laughs> so we'll see by then. It just depends on how much I can, I can binge this weekend. Um, that's going to do it for try now. To, try, try and binge a lot. If you really try, you can be, a, you can get to the, you can catch up by Sunday. Yeah, but I have. If you really tried. I have other adult things to do. Uh, so <laughs> I do too this weekend, which is why I'm trying to beat it. Uh, anyway, so I'm trying to beat it. Yeah, you're trying to beat it by Sunday, and he's in. So no, I'm gonna I'm gonna beat it tonight gonna because beat it tonight oh, Three I'm one hundred percent. Two days, I guess. Tonight, yeah, one hundred percent. I'm going to beat it tonight because I have stuff that I got to do tomorrow and Saturday and Sunday, but. I'm I'm really excited. I want I want to see where this ends because I'm yeah. I'm literally on the on the probably the last hour and a half of the game right now. All nighter until it's done. I'll probably finish it by eleven. It's only nine twenty. I just I'm, uh, I'm I'm just like hoping now that that she'll be like, oh crap, there's a hidden epilogue that I didn't know about that's like playable. Like you know, at the end of like a, a of Dream Drop, basically, like that game kind of ends. And then there's just like an extra hours worth of stuff afterwards, you know. So I'm like, ah, right. that's what that's going to happen to you, basically. So okay, yeah. Um, well, let's wrap it up. I'll let you get back to that. I got to go play myself. And yes, you do. Um, try to let me know your thoughts. You're on Tangled. I just got to Tangled. Yes. So we'll see where it goes. Finish it. Finish it. Finish it. Tell me thoughts. <laughs> did I text you? Did I say World Four? Or did I say World Five? Was uh, you said World Five was... when you really wanted to hear things from me, but you know, every world basically, you're like, you were texting me crazy things. I think I think World Five is when shit hits the fan, like when like actual like because up to this point, I think it's like very like, like you said teeing up, mm-hmm. and I think that's when they just start swinging, right. Good. So, <laughs> Good. so you're getting there. You'll Obviously, start. You'll start. I, you'll start sitting on the edge of your seat. When I bought the game um, on Monday, the person was just like, "Yeah, you know, I'm hearing it's like, you know, 30-ish hours if you just sort of go through it really quickly, but then a lot longer if you, you know, take it take longer than that." And I was just like, you know, I'm ready for just like 30 hours of just what you're just hitting it, you know, just going. Uh, I'm going. 26 and a half, and I took my time in most almost every world except for looking for all the lucky emblems because some of them are really freaking that's why i'm wondering if there's maybe there's some extra stuff that's going to surprise you you know but we'll get to that i hope so it's not well something already yeah yeah so okay we're gonna officially end this now um thanks for for hanging out here today spence thanks for maybe watching or listening um if you're on the podcast version um, which was probably the whole thing all at once. Um, thank you for listening this far. And uh, <laughs> leave us a review on iTunes so that everybody else can find us. And Apple will care about us and treat us like we're real children. And uh, if you're on YouTube, give us a like and a subscribe. Um, as you probably saw this week, um, I did a review of some Switch accessories. There's going to be some more stuff like that coming in the future. We're trying to mix up some of the content on there so it's not just talky talky stuff all the time. Uh, but that's going to do it for today. Uh, my name is Alex. This other guy with... I'm Spence. That name. And <laughs> you can also follow us on Twitter. I really love G1. And that's going to be it. Thanks, Spence. I'll see you. See ya. Nope.